My dear, you often ask me why there is so much evil in the world. Our planet is a place where there is duality, where there is good, where there is evil. Our planet Earth is, let's say, a simulator for the development of our soul. Since childhood, I thought that if only good existed, people would relax and would not understand the difference between what is good and what is bad. Evil is like the other side of the coin. It is an indicator of how it should not be. You know there is such a parable. When evil became sick, no one noticed that there was no evil. But when good got sick, everyone immediately noticed and asked, Good, where are you? Since then, both good and evil try not to get sick. Good understands how difficult it is for people to live on Earth without good. And evil thinks that if it gets sick again, then no one will even remember it. Dear, evil has always been present on Earth for a long time. Evil has no energy of its own. Evil takes energy from good, from good deeds. If there is no good, how will evil live? To destroy something, you need to create it first. All this is created with good, with love, and creation takes place in a positive way. But evil always comes and wants to destroy everything. Think about what is evil in your life. Write to me about it. You know, there have always been spiritual teachers in the world who have made people's lives much better. With Jesus, there was Judas who betrayed him. There was God and there was Lucifer, who raised an army of the Dark Ones against God himself. Buddha was discussed even by the closest disciples without understanding. If we take any kind of good deed, that brings love, there will always be people who will discuss and criticize. They will be so convincing, they will talk so vividly about everything that only a few will be able to understand. And they will feel with their hearts that this means that there is something good somewhere, since it is criticized. They will look for it and they will definitely find what their soul is looking for. Since there is good and evil in the world, there will always be barriers and obstacles to the light in this world. There will be people who discuss spiritual directions, calling them sex, and competitors will plot. But most importantly, how can you distinguish a spiritual person who brings good from those who criticize and bring evil? They will continue to carry out their work with great love, patience, and wisdom, and pray for those who criticize them. Be wise, people. Imagine how sad it was for those people who turned away from Christ, turned away from another spiritual teacher, and succumbed to criticism, succumbed to condemnation. What an opportunity for the development of their souls these people missed. The mission of my life is to bring light and discover feminine power in all women of the world. I need to find three million women who will unleash their feminine power and change the world. Better to let those who criticize help and find these women and direct their energies to this. Then life on our planet will change faster. There will be no wars or diseases in the world. Be it so. You have gained new knowledge. And now, it's time for you to become a ray of light to new people. Share this video with them. Invite them to become part of the field of love. Come with them to our classes and seminars. Help others, and God will help you.